Bob Turner. I'm running for Congress in the 9th CD, a seat currently held by Anthony Weiner. That uh, usually gets a groan. You guys awake? Um, I'm uh, not a politician, or at least I haven't been until four uh, months ago, when um, circumstances put me into this race. After watching a television program with Congressman Weiner explaining the uh, intricacies of the health care bill while refusing to answer these questions, I called a friend of mine, uh, the only person I know in politics, by Mike Wong. And I said, uh, Mike, who's running against Mr. Weiner? Where can I send a check and to, how can I help to volunteer? An hour after that conversation, it turned out that um, I would be the guy. There was not a candidate in the whole ninth CD who was willing to do this. Certain qualifications uh, were needed. Primarily, you probably didn't have to work for seven months. Not a lot of people can do that. You had to be well healed enough to start the ball rolling, and I was willing to do that. And you had to have a little knowledge of what's going on. And I have some of that, and I'm catching up uh, quickly. I'm a businessman. Uh, for 40 years, I've been in advertising and uh, television production. Uh, I've been the CEO of four companies. I've started companies. Um, and uh, developed others, done business throughout the world. Uh, these companies uh, were independent distributors. They handled programs that you've heard of, Phil Donahue and Baywatch, uh, Mysteries of the Bible, and even Jerry Springer. So if you want to know who's the guy, you can blame for that. But I was young then. So, uh, this campaign uh, is about, as far as I'm concerned, a runaway government. A government that's heading in the wrong direction in a whole bunch of areas, primarily taxes, deficit, its handling of small businesses, international policy, its perception of what America is in this world. And I think we are far off course. The taxes are destroying small business, which is the engine for jobs. You've heard a lot of nonsense of how everyone wants to help small business. You talk to small business owners, they know. Get off my neck. Stop taxing me to a point where I can't develop. The new banking law, totally wrong headed. All the regulations are against small businesses and your ability to get loans. There's a small paragraph in that 2,300-page banking bill that simply says banks are now responsible to see that the money they loan to people can be repaid. Duh. What do you think they've been doing for 200 years? Of course they have to do that. Now, when you go in for a loan, the loan officer has to ask, not only can you repay the loan, I have to check with the government, a new bureaucracy, to see if it's acceptable to them as well. Some clerk who knows nothing about banking and businesses. What do you think effect that will have on small business development and new jobs? You want to buy a car? You want to put an extension on your house? You want to do a new deck? You want to go borrow money? It's going to be a lot more difficult to get. Simply put, I don't know how this administration and Mr. Weiner, who is one of its great advocates, can say we're going to help small business or we're going to help your health care. This health care bill, upon examination of its 3,000 pages, is a travesty. Among one provision is a funding for 14 thousand, you heard that right, 14,000 new IRS agents to force compliance. Compliance of the bill is you have to take health insurance or you pay a fine. 
Unions are exempt, and large corporations are exempt if you have their self-funding. So where do you think this is going to come down on? Small businesses, freelancers, uh, independent workers. This, the effects of this haven't even taken place. We're out facing 10% unemployment. It's going to get worse and worse and worse. Something has to be done. Uh, for me, I stepped up to do a job. I'm not a politician. I'm going to do this job. I hope to line up with what may be 60 or 70 new congressmen in this new session. Enough con congressional weight to make the changes that are necessary until we can make the big change in, in uh, 2012. And that is defunding some of these programs. Congress has the authority to raise funds, and, and that's the origination source of taxes. It can also stop the funding. It can help repeal this health bill or amend it. That we sent our representatives to Congress to do a simple thing. Our premiums are too high. Fix it. They're going to be up 50% in eight years under this uh, law. We've asked them to do some other simple things. Make it portable so we can transfer from job to job. You don't need 3,000 pages to do that. Many of those provisions have already been made since 1996. A couple of tweaks in a 20-page bill could have fixed that. We don't need a, a bureaucracy of over 200 new bureaucratic offices with their appointed officials and, and uh, uh, campaign contributions, etc. Absolute political corruption and, and insanity. And the last thing we asked them to do was fix some of the unemployed, uh, the underinsured. They fixed that by cutting 500 billion, you heard that right, out of Medicare over the next 10 years. The Medicare, which people have funded themselves and moving it to Medicaid to handle the more of the uninsured. This is a Congress that I think is out of control, and I'm one that would like to fix it, but can't fix it by myself. I need a little help here. I need volunteers, people who are kind of tuned in to what's going on. Uh, this is a grassroots campaign. We have a couple of hundred volunteers who are willing to form kitchen committees, get out uh, the vote, talk to their neighbors and friends in each ED. There are 512 EDs in the ninth CD which stretch from McDonald Avenue and P in, in here in Brooklyn, all the way to uh, 222nd Street and, uh, uh, and 47th Avenue in, in Queens. So these EDs have to be manned, and it can only be done by volunteers. We have a good web page and, and a web control to, to help. <coughs> we also have the old-fashioned phone. And if you're so inclined, you take a look at this uh, uh, flyer to see how you can get involved. This can be done. Uh, our recent polling put Mr. Weiner at um, a reasonable but very low favorable rating, 52%. But on every issue, how do the people feel about health care? How do they feel about small business? How do they feel about taxes and spending? Way behind the eight ball. His, his ratings are in the, in the 30s and low 40s. I don't know. My job is to connect the performance with uh, the personality. Uh, and, and with a little help, that can be done. Over the next two months, uh, you'll be, I hope you'll be seeing a little more of me uh, in uh, media and print. Uh, we're working very hard on this.